Welcome back, friends and family. I got a quick rip this afternoon for you all. I had uh, committed to never buying any more of these Top Heritage boxes because I've gotten almost zero good hits out of this product whatsoever. I'm uh, really not impressed with it, uh, but I was at the store the other day. I saw this blaster sitting there, and I thought, what the heck, let's try one more. I uh, am trying to put this set together, and I'm probably, I don't know, 100 cards short or so. Mostly the uh, short prints. I'm getting very few of those. So anyway, thought I would rip um, another blaster and let's see what we got. Will this be the last one I ever buy? I hope so. Because I'm kind of done with uh, a lot of these 2023 products. I'm, I haven't bought a single Top Series 2 this year and I will not. I, I went ahead and did buy the set from a guy who uh, hand collated it. I was happy enough with that. That way I don't have to chase them. I'm not worried about uh, the junk parallels they have in those. And so uh, I feel the same way about this heritage. I'm just not that impressed with it, but I do like ripping packs. So here we are. All right, guys, let's uh, let's see what this nets us. And then after the uh, video is done, I will be uh, taking a look at my needed list and see how many hits I may have gotten, at least to uh, help me complete my set because my hopes are uh, very low, and my expectations are very low with uh, hitting any big big hits in these sets. So, all right, so we got Hernandez, Zach Thompson, got a Salvi, standing very royal in that picture. Got a Yusei Kukuchi. There's another Vinny Pascantino. I think I've got about 75 of those. Got a Joey Bart. There's a Jeremiah Estrada rookie card. I'm not familiar with him. He almost looks like Carlos Hernandez in that picture. Charlie Blackman, and then we got a Nick Senzel. All right, nothing uh, too exciting in that first pack, unless I may have overlooked some special. The errors and short prints in these are, are trying to mimic actual errors that were in that original 74 set. And so uh, a lot of times they'll have like a, a missing name up here or they'll swap uh, the position with the name, some little subtle things like that. So I always keep an eye out to see uh, what I might be missing here. I got a Muncy, got a Nico Herner, Ken Waldachuk rookie card, George Kirby, Adrian Mor Moron. Mm -hmm. There's a Shohei. That's the base Shohei. Um, missing the name. I, I've heard a couple theories on that. Uh, the the going theory is uh, that they're they don't own the rights. I guess the Angels wouldn't allow them to use Los Angeles in the rights. I don't know if that's true or not or if they're trying to stay true to form with that 74 set because there was no such team as the Los Angeles Angels. There was only the Dodgers, so the Dodgers do have the name and the Angels do not. I, I don't know. Also notice this Shohei is way off center, so I, I love that out of a new pack. It is, it's frustrating. All right, got a David Villar and a Rafael Ortega. Again, nothing very exciting from that pack. So far, it's right on brand with what I've been expecting from this garbage. I think I'm done with this stuff. I, I, enough's enough. All right, got a Nelson Velazquez. That's a rookie. Michael Kopech. Egai Rosario. That is a rookie. Harrison Bader, who's actually filling in decently, uh, defensively at least, for the, the Yankees this year. Luis Rengifo. Got a Jeremy Pena gold cup. The only gold cup I'm still missing out of this set is the Reed Detmers. So if I pull that Reed Detmers, I'll be pretty excited because it is a short print, which also explains why I'm probably missing it. All right, got a DJ, or DL Hall, sorry. Be cooler if his name is DJ, I guess. That's a New Age Performer rookie card. A Byron Buxton, the all or nothing guy. When did he turn into uh, just an absolute hit or miss uh, hitter? I mean, guy either strikes out I think I saw him strike out twice and one at bat, at least three different occasions. And then he goes off and hits uh, two home runs the other night. And there's a guy, Ramon Laureano. I haven't heard much of him this year. I don't know if he's injured or what's going on, but man, he has a cannon for an arm. I uh, have a thing for center fielders. I, I really like watching great defensive center fielders and especially ones that have a cannon for an arm like Ramon, Ramon does. Uh, so I, I kind of like that player. All right. Keep on a truck in here. Maybe we'll pull that Detmers. That'll be a, a very exciting pull. I'm sure the uh, channel will blow up when I pull that Detmers card. All right. There's a Brendan Donovan, a.k.a. Bunchy, for any of them that uh, 
may watch the Ray Donovan show, the series. Ha Song Kim, K. Brian Hayes, Gerard Encarnacion, rookie card. Michael Chavis, got an Adam Simber, Corey Seager, having a great year. There's a Ryan McMahon and a Leody Tavares. The other thing with these cards, you can flip over. If it's an error variation, Tops will put error on some of them right here between Tops and that black line. So you can do a quick scroll through. I never get any because I haven't pulled jack crap out of this awful set. But And then also the uh, 400s are the, the short prints. You can do a quick scan through and realize that, nope, still absolutely nothing in this, uh, this set. My luck has just been bad. That's all there is to it, I, I guess. I've heard people pull some hits out of these. I've, I've, I've gotten almost nothing. All right, Matthew Batten, rookie card. There's the All-Star with Machado and Devers. Brady Singer, Corbin Burns. There's a Francisco Alvarez, rookie card. He's younger than I thought. I think he was born in 01, which makes him 22. So he, uh, he may have a, a heck of a career ahead of him. He's having a pretty solid start to his career this year. All right, got a George Springa. Got the New Age Performers and Luisa Reyes, who had been flirting with 400 for quite a while, and now he's uh, settled back down to earth. I think he's around 370. Uh, contact hitter, though, kind of one of those Punch and Judy guys. I know he has one, maybe two home runs in the season. Um, not as impressive as uh, George Brett or Ted Williams, in my opinion. Got an Oscar Gonzalez rookie card, and then a Jake Cronenworth. Or oh, I believe Jake Cronenworth, did he just hit the DL recently? I thought I saw that. Is it still called the DL or is it the IL, the IR, whatever it is. No need to change the name of all that. Uh, there's one of my favorite cards in the set, that number card number one, the uh, Aaron Judge Home Run King. I'm super thrilled that that one has a big ding in the top of it as well, fresh out of a pack and box, but that's the way it goes. All right, Josh Smith, that's a rookie card. Got an Emmanuel Clase and Kenley Jansen, leading fireman card. Jesse Winker, German... German, Herman Marquez. There's Ty France. Ah, oh, here we go. My very first hit out of this Topps Heritage set. So, see, maybe uh, maybe it's sucking me back in. Jordan Diaz, autograph rookie card. Man, that's an exciting pull. It's actually fairly well centered. I don't know Jordan Diaz, but you know what? I'm holding out hope that he is the next big star. He's actually from Colombia, which is the first pro I've ever heard of from Colombia, and he was born in 2000, so he's still young enough to uh, potentially have a uh, exciting career, so yeah, there you go, my very first big hit from, from the Heritage set. All right, finish that pack with an Andrew Chafin, who's definitely channeling um, some major league vibes there, and then uh, Dalton Guthrie, that is a rookie card. Dalton Guthrie reminds me of uh, Darren Dalton, who was on the Phillies for years, Born in Ark City, Kansas, which uh, was very close to where I was raised. All right, got a Drew Waters rookie card. This kid's actually a pretty exciting athlete. Uh, decent, uh, I think a plus defender. His bat is coming around slowly. Um, I don't know if these guys are going to uh, be able to carry that team to a playoff uh, caliber anytime in the future. But whatever, for now I am a Royals fan, so I don't mind watching those guys develop. Israel Pineda, rookie for the Nats. There's Hunter Brown. He's actually a very solid uh, pitcher, having a great season for the Astros. Matt Chapman is having a great year. Christian Posh. Eric Lauer. Francisco Lindor. Ezekiel Duran. I like watching him play. That guy is a, a very versatile player, and he is quite the uh, hitter. I, I like watching him. He could be a big star from years to come as well. Uh, he was born in 99, so he's starting to uh, hit that point of either deliver or become a career major, minor leaguer or call it a career in general. So round that out with Tyler O'Neill. And nothing's jumping out at me as a uh, short print or error or special or anything like that. So um, I think that Lindor might be a short print, that 401, but I actually think I already have that one, which is, again, pretty typical of my luck with these. I pull the cards that I already have in the short prints and get absolutely nothing else, except for this exciting Jordan Diaz hot box. All right. Got a Schwarbombs and a Judge 2022 home run leaders. Miguel Andujar, who's still trying to uh, keep it together in the bigs. 
Jose Trevino, Cole Irvin, Cole Calhoun, Matthew Lib Libertore, that is a rookie. Got the flashbacks insert here. That's the Burt Bly 11 one hitter versus the Rangers. Feels like a thicker card for some reason. Uh, got a Jose Buto rookie card. And then we got a Carlos Santana, which I believe is the last card before the short print start. I don't believe 400 is a short print. I could be wrong. Um, either way, is anybody that excited about Carlos Santana? Even though he's actually having a pretty decent bounce back uh, year there in Pittsburgh. Kind of earning that contract to speak. So anyway, all right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. And uh, if you haven't picked any up, go grab a, a blaster box. I think they're 20, 25 bucks. Uh, it's a cool design. I like that 74 design and a few good rookies in this set. And it's also fun to pull some current players just to uh, get familiar with, with what's going on out there in the league. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time.